Hey guys, my name is Siddesh Bhajala and today I am going to talk about intermittent fasting. What is intermittent fasting? Is it a dieting technique or is it any kind of a diet? Yeah, koi diet hai kya ye? What is it exactly? I am going to tell you everything related to it. So basically intermittent fasting is not a diet, it's a dieting technique which you can incorporate in your daily life to improve the quality of your performance. Okay. Now let's say I want to give you a small example. There is this person who wakes up at 8 in the morning and he starts his first meal at 2 or 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Okay, sub office walo ke saath ye banda khata hai 3 baje. From 3 p.m. till 10 p.m. this guy completes all his meals. Uska dinner ho gaya, har cheez ho gaya. You can, you can say that this person is fasting for 6 hours and this person is eating in the next 8 hours. This is also called as one of the intermittent fasting techniques. Okay. Now, intermittent fasting has two things. One is your feeding window. Second is your fasting window. Feeding window mein aap kya karte ho? Aapke sare ke sare calories aap ek saath khate ho. Fasting window mein aap kya karte ho? You are only on zero calorie drinks or you are on water. You are completely fasting. You are not giving your body any kind of calories. So, first is feeding window and the other is fasting window. Okay. There are different time frames which you can select for your own self which you are comfortable with so that you can fast for a longer period of time or the remaining time you can finish all your calories. Let's say that I am somebody who is doing 16 is to 8. 16 hours is something that I am fasting. Now in 16 hours, 8 hours is something that I am sleeping. So let's say that if I am sleeping at 12 in the night, okay, I am getting up at 8 in the morning. I'm not eating anything that means I'm technically fasting from morning 8 a.m. till the next eight hours I'm not going to eat anything so that once I wake up I get freshened up okay I'm not going to eat anything for the next eight hours after I am completed after I have completed my first eight hours okay I am going to start with my feeding window in that feeding window I can be able to eat whatever I want to within my caloric limit okay so this is one of the techniques of 16 is to 8 you are following a 16 is to 8 pattern where you you are fasting for 16 hours and the remaining 8 hours is your feeding window you can also do 20 is to 4 ab 20 ghante aap kuch nahi kha rahe ho you are completely on fasting and the remaining 4 hours you are completing all your awesome calories okay you can also do 12 is to 12 if you are a beginner or you have never tried doing it you can just rat ko so jaye bara baje example get up in the morning at 8 and don't do don't eat anything for the first 4 hours 9 10 11 12 start your first meal at 12 in the morning so that you are come you are able to complete all the calories before you go to bed these are the different time frames which you can absolutely select the longer you can fast okay the longer you can sustain so that you can get more food to eat in a shorter period of time secondly intermittent fasting is going to help you eat a lot of food in a smaller stipulated amount of time okay now coming back to the main answer, main point that is a lot of people ask me if agar main intermittent fasting kar raha hu agar ya kar rahi hu main 4 ghante 5 ghante 6 ghante fast karke main kuch bhi kha sakti hu kya nahi kuch bhi nahi kha sakte aap fat loss happens when you are in a calorie deficit okay so i have explained about calorie deficit and maintenance calories in my previous video using a bottle so you can check out that video now let's say that if you want to lose fats and you are only doing intermittent fasting to lose fats it is not going to happen it is only going to happen if you are eating in a calorie deficit okay so let's say that i'll give an example of this mobile phone okay let's say that this is your 2000 calories example this is something that you are having throughout the day ओके पूरे दिन में आपको ये 2000 कैलोरीज कंप्लीट करने हैं या तो आप ये 2000 कैलोरीज 10 मील में कंप्लीट करो 20 मील में करो या एक ही मील में करो व्हाट मैटर्स टू योर बॉडी इज दैट यू आर गिविंग इट 2000 कैलोरीज एवरी सिंगल डे इंटरमीडिएट फास्टिंग में क्या हो रहा है यू आर फास्टिंग फॉर 16 आवर्स इन द रिमेनिंग 8 आवर्स यू आर कंप्लीटिंग दिस 2000 कैलोरीज okay so you get to eat a lot of food in a small stipulated amount of time this is how you can incorporate intermittent fasting let's say that 2000 calories is your deficit that is the reason because of this deficit you are going to lose fats you are not going to lose fats because of intermittent fasting 
understand this thing lot of people they confuse intermittent fasting that it is some kind of a diet which is you know which is going to turn them uh, which is going to completely transform them into a different person altogether no at the end of the day what matters is energy balance you have to be in a deficit if you are doing intermittent fasting okay but if you are not counting your calories okay you are eating more than what is required for your body let's say that ye 2000 calories hai you are not counting you are eating 3000 or 4000 calories but 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 i am doing intermittent fasting i should have lost fat no you will not lose fats until and unless you are in a calorie deficit you are only going to lose fats if you are in a deficit okay at the end of the day what matters is not that intermittent fasting what matters is your overall caloric intake this is something which is going to design which this is something that is going to change the entire game for you if you are not in a calorie deficit you are not going to lose fats intermittent fasting is only a technique to make you complete these meals so the point is the take home point is if you are somebody who wants to incorporate intermittent fasting first of all you should know that you are in a deficit you are in a calorie deficit you are eating lesser calories than your maintenance that is the first thing then you can divide and you know reshuffle your meals accordingly throughout the day this is what matters the most this do not blindly start intermittent fasting by eating anything random or eating anything less if you are not if your protein intake is not on point you will start losing muscle mass so make sure that your proteins are on point your carbohydrates and your fats are on point if you are following a carbohydrate based diet and your total calories are on point if these three are on point then you can start incorporating your uh, intermittent fasting into your regime okay if you have any more questions regarding any topic or anything please do not hesitate to ask me i am you can just drop me you can just drop all the messages in the comments below thank you so much for listening to me so patiently